So for those of you that want to say the bull that people like Carlson and Alex Jones and the rest of them spread um, doesn't really hurt anybody, I want to tell you about an exchange that I had this morning with a small mom and pop gas station owner. So we have here a unique opportunity to talk about absolutely nothing in the TikTok yet still be right on point. Because Republican BS hurts people because everything they do is BS. Really nice guy, really nice. Um, he, he is more conservative. He's, he's on the Republican side. But uh, like I said, super nice guy. I love sitting and just, you know, kind of with him. He always gives me free coffee and drinks and, you know, if they got any donuts left over, he'll give me some free donuts. Um, and him and I were bullshit this morning. And he was talking about emptying out his premium tanks, basically just taking all the fuel in his premium tanks dumping it in his regular unleaded tanks and using his premium tanks to hold diesel. Now this dude has three 15,000 gallon tanks. He's got one tank for unleaded, one tank for premium, one tank for diesel. Now of course with the premium, you never really fill it up all the way, you know, kind of out in the back middle of nowhere. You might put, you know, 3,000, 4,000 gallons in the premium. So it wouldn't have made that huge of a deal. But dude was willing to do that because he heard on Tucker Carlson that we only had 25 days of diesel left and he wanted to stock up and make sure that he had enough diesel when we ran out so the the people in the area would still have diesel left for instance let's talk about um right to work laws i come from st louis missouri as many of you know i now live in new jersey a much more uh, blue state um but right to work laws destroy unions as we know um the middle class was the strongest when unions were the strongest everything has its corrupt factors that's why you got to stay involved in the political process. Are unions perfect? No. However, the data shows that union strengthens the public and the working class, which is why corporations are so against it. And right to work laws just make it so that, you know, bro, you don't have to pay your dues. You know, the same people, the Republicans, the GOP conservatives who are always talking about personal responsibility and picking yourself up by your bootstraps. No, no, you don't have to pay your union dues. You can just let that slide on by and constantly busting unions as much as, you know, as much as the law lets them, and they always go past it. Dude was thinking about the people in his community, how they were going to be able to get diesel fuel. He was ready to f himself out of all of the money that he would have made off of off a of premium and buy a sh load of diesel that probably would have taken him two, maybe three months to sell just because Tucker Carlson wanted to tell, wanted to fear monger people into thinking we only have 25 days of diesel left. And I got to and I told him, I was like, dude, no, we, we don't have, there, there's not going to be any shortage of diesel. And he's like, well, I heard, you know, only 25 day supply. And I'm like, that's how we measure it in the industry. If we didn't produce another drop of diesel fuel from this moment forward, we would have 25 days of diesel left. There's not going to be a diesel shortage. But uh, yeah, that's one example. So let's talk about another example of how. Republican BS hurts people. How about the way Republicans handle, you know, like drugs and illegal substances and crimes? And while it's true that the Democrats have absolutely aided to that, it's the GOP where they're trying to continue on that path. At least in the Democratic Party, we have room to get progressives in there to push the party to the left. But the punitive policies to, we need more people in jail. We need to increase the sentences for cocaine, crack, and heroin, and everything else. We need to throw these people in jail. You know, all the fentanyl stuff. Yeah, that, that's because of those Mexicans. So we need to make it harder for them to get into the country. It's like this never-ending looping chain of racism and hatred that just throws people into cages and gets them out of the way of white man society. So, you know, that hurts people as well. And it also, you know, unironically hurts white people too, because, you know, brown people and colored people are, you know, human beings as well. And we all contribute to society. So the more talented, skilled young folk that we're throwing behind bars simply for, you know, maybe selling a little this or that because, you know, they're in an economically challenged area. Yeah, that doesn't really aid to society now, does it? We're not going to run out of diesel fuel. Don't do that. And he's like, well, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call your boss just to make sure. I'm like, here. And I gave him my boss's phone number and everything else. And, you know, he's like, well, I just, I don't know why, you know, they, they lie about something like that. I'm like, really? You, you don't know why they, and I didn't say it this sarcastically, but I'm thinking, I was like, really? You don't know why they would lie about something like five days till a midterm election and Republicans are scared this right now and you don't know why they would lie about something like that. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's why they would lie about it. So when you want to say that like Republicans lying doesn't really hurt anybody, you know, they, they people should expect them to lie. Those are the 
people that get hurt by it. Or, well, last, but, well, this is not last. So I can't even say last but not least because I could literally make like 50 individual clips times 30, you know, of Republican BS. But how Republicans handle climate change, how Republicans handle the fact that we've known for decades that our activities with fossil fuels and coal and stuff like that is you know, making it quite a bit warmer. And we're seeing evidence of that. We're seeing extreme weather patterns that happen year after year, as I've talked about on this channel many times. Just in my lifetime, every year I see uh, patterns changing, hurricanes getting worse. You know what I'm saying? It, it, there being fires in places, there shouldn't be fires, record-breaking droughts, all of these things going on. Winter is getting, you know, just more sporadic. Things changing. And they're like, no, bro. No, bro. There's nothing to see here. We got to we, we gotta keep that petrodollar going, bro. We got to keep on pumping that oil. American supremacy. We have to dominate the oil markets. Like, why can't we dominate the green, you know, the green energy markets? Well, you know, conservatism. They don't want to change. So that's just a little bit of how Republican BS hurts the country and why it is time for us to get more involved. You know, not just for the election going on this week, but on and on and on. The fight got to continue because evil don't sleep.